Hi guys, my name is Brent and I just want to give you an overview of my homemade three wheel. This is a three wheel car slash motorcycle, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I built from scratch. Everything was built from scratch except for the engine and transmission of course. And other components like that. I'm just going to do a quick walk around here and then I'll go into details about some of the parts and how they work. Alright, we'll start off with the front here. First off, I got custom made independent AM suspension, built from scratch, and it just uses uh, rear bike shocks on either side there. <clears throat> I got first pedal here is gas pedal, brake pedal, clutch pedal. It is a manual 3 mil. It uh, has a 4 speed manual transmission in it. Got that from the scrapyard. It's got four speeds forward and one reverse. Uh, the wheels are just uh, trailer tires. I got a car tire in the back. Those are just small trailer tires and uh, car hubs, five bolt car hubs on there. <coughs> and I uh, custom made the mounts for those as well. The steering mechanism is Reduced chain and sprocket. Let me tell the focus is here. There we go. With a regular go kart steering wheel. So that gives me more power when I'm steering and more control. And I got gas shocks on here, like the kind you use in your trunk of your car to uh, reduce the impact of hitting potholes or bumps on the road, even though this thing is not street legal at all. I got a homemade V-belt clutch system here, designed myself. What it is is just a V-belt and pulleys, and the small pulley goes, uh, he just drives the belt and goes down to the transmission pulley down here and then up to an idler pulley which is under tension on springs and that's how the clutch works so when I push on the clutch pedal up here it releases or untensions the belt and allows the belt to slip and that will allow me to shift and go from a stop to a gradual start that's how that works. Very simple, and it's uh, only like a few dollars to change the belt, and it lasts for a few months. I got an alternator on there, which powers that headlight up there. That's what these switches are over here. I got a kill switch, I got my alternator switch to turn that alternator on, and then headlight switch here. And that helps for driving at night. This was hard to design here. Oh, I have a uh, ATV battery on there, and the uh, alternator charges that. This shifting mechanism here was a pain in the butt to design. What I had to do, the engine or the transmission is actually sideways because that's the only way it would fit with the space I had. This three wheel's been through a few designs, so I had to make it fit with the uh, original frame. <clears throat> But you got your shift here. The shifting is from side to side as opposed to front to back like an actual manual car. So that would be first, second, third, fourth, and then reverses up there. So it takes a little bit to get used to, but it becomes natural after a little while. So on the other end of the transmission here, we have a the drive sprocket and chain which goes down to this uh, idler shaft here or uh, I'm calling it an idler shaft I don't know what it really is it doesn't really idle it transmits power um, and then goes through, power goes through that shaft and then through this chain to the back wheel and I've got a one inch solid shaft there 
and the sprocket, wheel hub, and disc brake are all welded to the shaft. I tried using the keyway, but it just wasn't strong enough for the torque that this thing puts out. So, and I just uh, did an engine swap uh, today. The old engine, uh, the piston rings were worn out and it was only going half power. But it does have a six and a half horsepower engine on there. And the thing in fourth gear does about 80 kilometers an hour. So it's got some good speed to it. it takes a little while to get there with the six and a half horsepower engine, but it does, does about 80 kilometers an hour, top speed. I got a bigger, beefier shock on the back here for a rear suspension. It's off of a bike as well, but a higher quality bike. And I also got mini gas shocks there to dampen it a little bit. That's how that works. I stand on it here. The whole thing bounces up and down. So it's actually a really smooth ride. And uh, I did come up with this idea before the Bombardier Can-Am Roadster came out. But they, they were probably designing that at the same time, but I had no idea of that. And this design, you more sit in it like a car as opposed to on top of it like a motorcycle. So that makes it a little bit different. And in a minute, I'm going to take it out and do a little test drive. It is dark out, but I'll have the headlight on. Hopefully you can see something. Okay, I'm just gonna show you how I start it. It's just a pull start, not electric start, nothing fancy. So I got my kill switch turned off. Or on. Choke on.
And yes, it does spin the tire. <laughs> Surprisingly, <laughs> for a six and a half horsepower. Yeah, well that's it. Hopefully I didn't wreck the camera too bad. Here, because I don't have enough room in this parking lot to accelerate to fourth, but uh, I think I got around like 40, 45 kilometers an hour, so not too fast in here, but it does about 80. Um, so sometime I'll go to the country and I'll do 80 kilometers an hour. <laughs> 